All right, once again, I Larry Diamond with How to Get Out of Babylon, a Flat Earth Homeland. Um, <clears throat> this is the setting for the series manifesto for the Ozark Plateau. To the right there, you see a screen. Software wasn't working. So fortunately, this map was up there already to, for me to lecture from. And I'm going to point out right now, one thing I saw, I glanced at it and went, oh, wow. And I never said anything about it. I wish I would have. This, is, this was a raised relief topo map. You could run your fingers and feel the peaks and feel the valleys. You could run your finger down through the Ozark, south of the Ozark Plateau, through the Arkansas River Valley. You could feel the Rockies. They are all, it was all scaled. They're scaled to height. They are scaled to altitude. They are raised relief maps. Now, notice the coloration. Notice the green area over here and the tan area, tan area, Washita, tan area, and all this. Okay. Fill that in. Color it blue. Color it blue, and you'll have the U.S. Navy map other than the missing parts of the West. I'm going to go through this. Click, 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 click. I brought it in a little bit closer. You can see it, but, you know, look it up. And there's a bunch of different types. Look up raised relief Google, raised relief topo, topo maps, topological, topographical. That's a good shot of it. And then just like I said, just in your mind, color all the green, blue, ocean. That's your altitude. Okay. 700 feet. I'm just going to click through these because there's more that I want to cover here. That's a, the setting. That was my son over there. <clears throat> David was, after he'd gotten the software going, then he was over here looking at something that I'd already said. And I'm not sure. I believe this is a young lady that I wish my other son would marry. Goofy little monkey needs to grow up. Manifesto for the Ozark Plateau, part 11 of 10. So it took me, I don't know, I, I was, as far as the camera, like I said, everything was dependent on the camera when it would shut off and then start up. So quite a few of the sections that I covered were done off of that map. And I, like I said, I'm just so thankful that it was there because otherwise it would have been a pretty gnarly situation. You know, I had 30, 40 people sitting there. It was at a major feast day, Passover, large church gathering, where sometimes there's 200 men gathered. Pointed this out before, and I don't know if I, it's on a video or whatever already, but draw a line, bisect the plateau from corner to corner, corner to corner, draw a line through it. There's Turtle Mountain. That little blob of green there is an artificially constructed plateau. And when I to asked the guy that wrote the book on Noah's Ark, discovering the science behind man's oldest mystery, I said, are you aware that the Ozark Plateau is two 120 degree, 333 pieces of pie facing each other? And he goes, yep. And he said, did you know that if you draw a line from through corner to corner, it hits Turtle Mountain? And I'm like, no. I said, what does that mean? He goes, I don't know. <laughs> Neither do I. Yeah. What are we going to do about it? I don't know. <laughs> All right. Ozark Plateau, six Ozark lakes of the White River Basin. Now, this is just, again, water retention, water supply. This is only the White River Basin, but you have Greer's Ferry. That's the one I was thinking of earlier. Greer's Ferry Reservoir. You've got Norfolk Lake Artificial Reservoir. Bull Shoals Lake Artificial Reservoir. I know a guy that slammed into the, I don't know if he passed out or something, but he's in a big diesel truck and he slammed into the, the dam. Uh, what is that one? Beaver Lake. And then Table Rock Lake. Now, it's only, this is only the White River Basin, but there is one, two, three, four, five major lakes here. Pretty cool. A lot of water. Again, a raised relief topo map. 
of the United States. Color the green blue. Another one. Same deal. And I couldn't find a good digital copy of the one that was actually hanging there at the church. This, mm, I don't think this is it. But it's a pretty good one. Again, green indicates lower altitude. And this is that good multiple source water map because it has some of the lakes in it. Greer's Ferry, Beaver Lake, Table Rock, no, Table Rock, Bull Shoals, Believe Stockton, Truman, Lake of the Ozarks. Huge. Lake of the Ozarks is huge. Looks like a big snake. It looks like a dragon. So I'm just going to finish this one up. I'm just, just going through pictures, sharing maps that I've found on different subjects. And I'm um, tired. And it's way past time to be done with this. But my friend and his daughter are kind of hanging out in the kitchen and doing dinner. and So I'm just going through these. <clears throat> Some of these might be higher resolution that you can expand better. So it's, the reason I kept some of them in as duplicates. Yeah, Colorado plateaus, man. Beaver flat tops, Dunkley flat tops, great elk hunting areas. Plateaus out there. Never did get up on those, never did go camping in them. I'd always wanted to. See if I could come up with some music and put it in here, that'd be nice. Earthquake map, of course. I went over that. Aquifers. Aquifers. Your karst formation is where you have a lot of caves. They say there's a cave discovered every day in Missouri. So that's one nice thing about that formation. It's a water gathering, water collecting, water purification system that also is... Um, prone to lots of caves. Ogallala Aquifer. <laughs> Tornado Alley. Used to be. Now it's over the rest of the Craton. Fracking on the dotted Craton line. Look up that article. I used to write on um, Prepared Society and Alt Market. A-L-T dash market. Back when I was online a lot and wrote a lot of articles. Again, that Ozark purple part sticks out. <laughs> And I don't know what that is. Uh, oh, yeah, surficial materials. <clears throat> In other words, what, what is the type of material? And I can't read the scale here because it's like really, really small. Might be able to find that someday and blow it up.
where I can read it. <laughs> I think I'll just let it sit there for a minute or two and just uh, maybe pick that up as a thumbnail again. But uh, anyway, kind of the uh, just a smattering of different maps in this video, but I'm going to leave it as is and hopefully be able to go ahead and get it uploaded. I'm just trying to get a lot of information out there for people out there who are intending to come here so you have a better idea of what all is contained within and what the Ozark Plateau is all about. I would say basically, you know, in the water situation, it's the, you know, food equals water. Water equals food. Can't have food without water. On Alt Market one time, a guy wrote, he was a troll, troll from hell. He took that group of 4,000 people down to about nothing. He destroyed the entire group single-handedly, which was the guy's fault that ran the thing, Brandon Smith, because he wouldn't do anything about it. But he drove owners, people that started it away, people that had invested hundreds and hundreds of hours, thousands and thousands of dollars into it. Destroyed the whole thing single-handedly. But one time he was saying, you ought to come here to Kansas where I am in central Kansas. And I said, um, you're not going to have any water there. And he goes, I don't need water. I'm not a farmer. Yeah, here's a prepper survivalist supposedly who <laughs> doesn't understand that you have to have water to stay alive. Water to people. Water does not come out of taps. Water does not come out of hydrants. Y'all are used to turning the faucet on and getting water. You're used to, you know, fire truck pulling up to a hydrant and getting water. Nope. Sorry. Water comes from the sky and it comes from the ground. It comes from wells. And it comes from surface water. If you don't have one of those sources of water, you don't have any water. California, Colorado, it's all artificial. You know, those types of places. You do not have a so secure water source. Period. End of story. Um, the Ozark Plateau has rainwater, surface water, spring water, aquifer under the entire region. In my estimation, it is the wealthiest place on this entire beautiful, awesome, stupendous, magnificent, flat earth. Period. End of story. And I think I'll end with that. So, anyway, I'm going to finish this one out. This is Jerry Diamond. If you're listening to this, you are the remnant. Stan Deo's map. All he did was take the terrain of the United States, color it blue. Marked it at about, I'm going to say six or seven hundred feet altitude. And that big hole there is actually on uh, regular maps of the United States. Looks like a big drain hole to me, though. Ashton Petre or Peter Chet Snow Dr. Chet H. Snow Future Map of the World Does have an island there but not quite where it should be but nice. Maybe it was just a dream. I don't know what it was based on. U.S. Navy Map Note Kansas City Seaport. Not much out here. U.S. Navy satellite map. Rising water levels, worst case scenario. But note, that's probably where the U.S. Navy map came from. It's almost exactly, so... 
This is Jerry Diamond. If you're listening to this, you are the remnant. I cut it off at 15. Thank you.